Hey there, Tyler. Hope you're having a great day today. This is your video lesson. Uh, one large topic I want to talk about. Uh, if you have questions at the end or you look at anything, feel free to shoot a video on over our message and I'll do my best to answer. So cool. Let's get to it. So uh, we talked last time um, about writing riffs and soloing techniques and how to develop an idea um, using kind of like a more like a scientific approach rather than just like jamming. Um, so that's what this video is going to be about today and I'll use the music elements of music to kind of guide my way and kind of get me, give me places to jump off of or give me starting points. Like I said, this is all just like starting point stuff. It's not like a rule or something that's set in stone. These are just merely just things to kind of like get the Jesus flowing or, or get some ideas out there and then and a way to kind of like develop them without feeling like, oh, if I just noodle around the, about the neck, I'll come across like the great, the great American riff. Like it's, I don't like to do it like that. I like to have kind of like a, like a, like a methodology in, in writing this stuff. Um, that, that's not to say that I don't sit here with the looper pedal on in, on a Saturday night and just jam and to see what comes out of my guitar and sometimes some cool things do and sometimes cool things don't. Um, but this is a way to kind of like get going when it's like a nine to five sort of thing where it's like, okay, it's 9, 9 a.m., it's Monday morning, it's time for me to come into my office and it's time to write something. Um, you know, this is a way for me to kind of get that going rather than waiting for divine inspiration to strike me. Um, so first thing is coming up with a, a section. So I can think of it as a, as a form. Um, rather than just like um, stream of consciousness solely. So in this style of writing, um, I'm gonna come up with an A idea, like a, the, it's, it's like a form, so A, B, C, D, E, F ideas. Um, and they're all like related to one another um, in some sort of way. So if I start with a nice A section, I give myself the parameter of, I'm gonna use some sort of sequence pattern and I'm gonna use some sort of guitar effect. Uh, I'm just going to start because I always start with like three note sequence is a very easy place to start. It kind of falls easy under the fingers for pentatonic stuff. And <coughs> for a guitar effect, I'm going to use a hammer on, right? So I might throw a slide there. You can use multiple guitar effects if you want to, so you can slide into the. Right there, I can use pull off and there, use pull off, change my parameters. Anyway, so I'm going to use um, like E minor pentatonic. I'm going to use box three because it. Because it does that, and that's a really kind of common, um, looks like it's like doom metal sort of like riff, uh, riff, kind of, kind of like material right there. So everything's kind of in a line right here. Um, you know, not too much uh, heavy thinking in terms of well, what notes I'm going to be fretting or what scale I'm going to be using. So, anyway, so I have my box three E minor pentatonic. Any key will work, A minor will work as well, all of them will work. So I run my scale a few times to kind of get the notes under my fingers. Oops, have to practice. So I'll sit here and what I'll do is I'll just like run three note sequences for a little bit. Get my fingers limbered up. Remember, someone can hear, listen to you practice, you're not practicing. <laughs> um, so I have my notes right here that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use a three note sequence, so. So there I have one, two, three, one, two, three, pull off, back to the B right here on the, on the, on the uh, seventh fret. And I'll play it a bunch of times to kind of get the idea under my fingers. I should be able to repeat it verbatim every single time uh, without variation. The variations are coming. We just have to have that idea like really solid in our fingers. So I have my first riff right here. Right, it'll work. It's not the greatest thing I've ever written, but it'll get the job done for today. All right, so, um, very basic kind of like blues rocky, um, if I slow it down. <coughs> All right, so if I slow it down, it becomes like doom or stone in the middle. And I go, okay, I like that idea. It's a good one to start with. And then what I'll do is I'll use the elements of music as a jumping off point for creating a, a, a really nice B section another section that's complementary to the first section, that's related to somehow. 
I use the same approach when doing like writing a classical melody. I would do the same approach when writing a, a jazz melody or something like that, or a, or a jet metal riff or something like that. It has to be related some way to the beginning, otherwise it's just new material happening all the time and the listener doesn't go, hey, that looks from, that sounds right. Unconsciously speaking, that is. Um, so, uh, let's see here. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go in the elements of the music. So, so Everyone thinks about pitch, right? Like, what notes am I playing? But there's other things we can think about too. So pitch is an element of music. It's the way we would describe music as we were a scientist. So say if we were going out in the savannah uh, and we would pop up with our binoculars or uh, we uh, see music over there and we're gonna describe music as a scientist would, we'd have certain things that we could categorize. So you say being pitch, what notes are we using, right? What scales are we using? Next is rhythm. What rhythmic elements can we do? Ba da 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 da. I'm using straight one and two and three and four and one. I'm using straight eighth notes for there. Um, I can also alter that rhythm as well. Ba da da ba da da di da da di da da. There I double timed it. So the only way I can describe what I did is like I made the rhythm shorter. I I subdivided it. I can do dynamics. You know I can get louder or softer. Or I can do a call and response like. Oh, going back to pitch before I get too up, before I go down the list too far, um, I can change one of the notes. There, I landed on that B right there. There, I landed on the on the E the second time. So the first time I did. Second time, to add a little bit of variety. That works really well right there. Um, that's just one idea that you can do. I can fragment it with pitch, right? So I take the pitches and take an element out of that and make that a jumping off point for the B part. So I have my A melody right here. I have A prime. A prime is just A just got a little bit changed. I added, I ended on a different note, but it was still the same stuff. Um, and then, uh, let's see here, and then I can repeat a fragment of, like I said, for pitch. So if I do, there I did that part of the riff, that first three note sequence, I just repeated it a few times. Back to A. Prime is A, but just slightly different. I slam on a different note. And then into the B part, right? It fits with A because it has elements of it. It's going to match, right? If I just win some whittly whittly thing up here, right? It might not match. It'd be a whole different idea. So this is what I have so far A. A prime is just a little different and a different note. That's B. I fragmented the melody and repeated that fragment. Back to A. Right? If I hop down a little bit further and go to tone color, this is where I can use like different pickup settings. Um, you know, I might use like, you know, this might sound better. And that's too country for going back up here, right? Now roll the and I roll the tone knob back so it's it's um, it's a little bit darker. Then I go, okay, what pedals can I use? So if I'm writing this as like a, like a doom or like a blues rock kind of riff, uh, or a heavy like grunge riff or something like that, I might kick on my, my big muff pedal over here. I'm kick on my big muff. I have the fancy one, I have the GHS. I think the one I have on now is the Ram's Head, the Ram's Head Big Muff. So now I have this. So there I combined, I did A, A prime, which is a little different than A, just on a different note. And then I have my B, which is an element of, or a fragment of the A, just repeated, I repeat that fragment. And then I have my tone color, I twist, twist it into, into a, uh, like a fuzz sound to give it more, more interest. Then if I go back to rhythm, I go, okay, I like that riff, but it's too fast. I'm thinking of like, um, I might be trying to make a riff like sleep or something like that and and you know make it like a really long drony kind of riff so I might do something 
There I augmented the rhythm. I made the rhythms longer. And there, what I did, uh, what did I do there? Um, play the harmony, I didn't write it down, I kind of just made that up. <laughs> but, um, so I do it, okay, I like that last thing right there, but I feel like it need to be thicker, so I turn that into a power chord. So, There, I just took the, uh... See what I'm saying? Is that like I'm sitting, as I'm sitting here, I didn't plan any of that. I kind of just was, was riffing there. But kept, the, to get to the point was that I started off with that, just that three note sequence, gave myself this bunch of parameters. And then I came with this, just like a general idea that probably wasn't going to be the final answer in the, or the final product in the end. But uh, it gave me a place to start. And it gave me something to go, okay, I know at least it's gonna make musical sense, it's got rhythm, it's, I'm taking the tone into consideration. Um, I'm using a three minute sequence, people are gonna be able to listen to that. And as I sit here, and if I sat here for another 20 minutes, I might come up with something, like I was like in that power chord avenue, I was going down. So I take that, that single line that I came up, and I'll kind of turn it into. And the initial idea was just to get the brain going and get me thinking. I would never would have came up with that idea if I hadn't started with, with an A, just a very basic A that I gave myself a three note set of three note, per, uh, three, note uh, per, three note sequence, and then some sort of guitar effect to put in there, and then it kind of took its life its own as I started developing said idea. But it gives me a place to start using the elements of music: pitch, rhythm, dynamics. Maybe I want to make that. Yeah, I'll start the song like this. Yeah, I'll do palm mutes to bring the dynamic level down, right? So I may do. to a C. Right? All that's just developed from the very basic idea. Cool. Hopefully that gives you some idea, uh, gives you some ideas on how to develop a riff idea or a solo idea. Um, if you have any questions, like I said, shoot me a message. If not, I will see you next week. Take care.